Glory, glory, glory to our King. Oh, glory, glory, glory to. King upon the throne, and on to you I will lift my hands in praise. You are the King upon the throne. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, saints. Welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who had died on the cross and rose again on the third day. Hallelujah. We thank God for sending his spirit to be with us, for sending us the Holy Spirit to fill us, for sending us, us the Holy Spirit to comfort us and to guide us and to lead us and to direct us and to manifest his power through us. Glory be to God. I want to welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus for and, and thank you for tuning in for today's word, a moment of word and truth. Hallelujah. I just give God all the glory and all the praise for your life. I thank God for bringing us together in this hour. For God is saying that those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You know, earlier this year, God really spoke to me because I had shared my testimony of how good and how faithful the Lord was to me in 2021, you know, from blessing our marriage to um, us having our son to buying our first home. And it was just like God was doing a work in our lives and he was just like a domino effect. And, you know, we just saw the power of God moving through our lives. We saw his word coming to pass. But how many of you know that there's seed time and there's harvest time? Last year was, honestly, it felt like harvest time for us. But now I'm like, Lord, okay, now it's time to start planning. Now it's seed time. It's seed time. It's seed time. It starts to, it's time to start planning for us again. So I just give God all the glory uh, for all that he has done in our lives. You know, I was sharing my testimony and somebody was like, well, you know, you're, I don't need to brag about me getting my house or about me being married and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, if you knew, <laughs> if you knew that it was only by the grace of God, see, sometimes when we're giving God all the praise and all the adoration and all the honor that belongs to him and that is due him, people start getting a little uncomfortable. They get shaken up and shaken up because they don't really understand what it means to give and share your testimony and give God the praise, you know, so they, they want to say that it's bragging, but no, it's not bragging. It's giving God the glory for what he's done in your life because you have, you have seen his goodness come to pass. He's where it says to look and see the salvation of the Lord. So, you know, it's one thing to be on the outskirts and saying, okay, God, I'm not seeing you moving in my life. I'm not seeing your hand in my life, but it's another thing to go through through the trials and tribulations and overcome. It's another thing to go through the storms and they actually not do you any harm. It's another thing to go th through the fire and you not being burned. It's another thing to pass through the rivers and you not being overtaken. It's another thing to, 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 you know, do you understand what I'm saying? When you're actually going through it and you see the word of God being the written word of God coming to life in your, in your life. You know, he sent Jesus, the living word to make his word, his written word life unto us. So I have seen the living word. I have seen Jesus Christ working in my life. And it's not just about material things. It's about what he did on the inside of me. It's about what, what each and every situation had caused. It's about my, my faith being tested. You know, for those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. See, this is the hour that we're living in. His word in John 4, 23, 24 says that this is the hour. The hour is now that those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. For the father is seeking such 
This is not the hour that we're going to be able to continue to play lukewarm Christianity. This is not the hour that you're going to just be able to get by with, with, lukewarm faith no in this hour you're going to see a distinguishment of those who truly serve the lord your our god you know earlier this year god told me that he will no longer be mocked he is not a god that can be mocked he will no longer be mocked amen he will no longer be mocked for those who have mocked him they will see they will see you know children of god will be rising up the world would be saying, oh, there's a casting down. The world would be saying, what are we going to do? But the children of God will be solution barriers. The children of God will bring forth um, his word coming to pass. The children of God will be continue to rise up and they'll be saying, how are you doing this? It's because we are putting our faith and our trust in God and God will never, never, never let us down. So I just want to encourage you this morning that wherever you are to continue to to be trusting, continue to trust in God, continue to trust in God because he's not, he's this, you know, in this season of your life, fully serve God, fully worship God. Don't withhold your praise. Give God all the glory. Give God all the honor. Be like David. Even if it embarrasses you, give it to God, do it for God. If you dance, dance for God. If you sing, sing for God. If you shout, shout for God. Don't do it for attention. Do it for God. Make sure that your motives are right because God is looking at our hearts. He's looking at the deepest parts of our inside. So we can't fake worshiping him. Or the, that demon that's faking will surely be casted out and it will be exposed because light will shine in darkness and darkness will not be able to hide. Amen? Hallelujah. So it's important that also in this season that we are building up our spiritual man. That means in this hour, we need to be praying like we've never been praying before. We need to be fasting like we've never been fasting before. We need to be filling ourselves with the word of God and spending time with our Lord and Savior. We need to have a deeper relationship with the Lord in this season of our lives because we need to be spiritually sensitive. And it's not just in this season, it's, it's in every season, but we need to be spiritually sensitive to his voice and to the leading of the Holy Spirit where he says to go we need to go when he says to move we need to move when, when he says no we need to make sure that we're not that we're being obedient when he says yes we need to you know we we can go forth but we need to be sensitive in this hour hallelujah so let's just go uh go ahead and give God all the honor and all the adoration in a moment of prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we just lift up your holy name, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Father, for your word coming to pass in our lives, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Father, for loving us, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Father, that you sent your word to heal us, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Father, that in this hour, O oh Lord, you have said, O oh God, that those who worship you will worship you in spirit and in truth, O oh Lord. We ask, O oh Father, that if anything is hindering us, O oh God, from worshiping you in spirit and in truth, O oh Lord, that you shine your light on it and expose it and bring it to the forefront oh god so that we can deal with it oh lord because we want to be a part of that group oh god that worships you in spirit and in truth oh god when we lift up our hands oh god we want to lift up holy hands to you oh god when we give you the praise oh god we want to give you a praise oh god that is not from any ill motives oh god that is not from any wrong motives oh god we want to purify our hearts oh god we ask oh father that you just cleanse us oh god from any wrong motives oh god we ask you, O oh Father, that to help us, O oh Lord, to worship you in spirit and in truth, O oh God. Show us what it means, O oh Lord, to worship you in spirit and in truth, O oh God. As we have a deeper relationship with you, O oh God, call us into deeper, O oh God. Call us into deeper, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Father, for loving us, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Father, for giving your son, O oh God, for us, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Father, for lifting us up, O oh God. When the world says that there is a casting down, O oh God, your children will say that there is a lifting up, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Father, that our language will not be like the language of the world, oh God, that they would not even be able to comprehend, oh God, our, our, our language, oh God, because your word says that darkness, that 
that light shines in darkness and darkness comprehended it not, oh God. So even when we speak, oh God, they won't understand it, oh Lord, because darkness can't comprehend the light, oh God. But we ask, oh God, that as our light shines in darkness, oh Lord, that anyone that is around us, oh God, as they are exposed to light, oh God, bring them into the light, oh God, of Jesus Christ, oh God. As they are exposed to light, oh Lord, bring them into the salvation, the love and grace of Jesus Christ, oh God. We thank you, oh Father, that you, oh God, are using us as a holy vessel that is set apart and consecrated unto you, oh Lord. So we pray, oh Father, that you, oh God, will strengthen us, oh God, to do exploits, oh God. We pray, oh Father, that as your spirit is fill, filled in us, oh God, that we are, as we are filled with the Holy Spirit, oh Lord, that you, oh God, will pour out, oh God. And as we pour out, oh God, you will continuously pour into us, oh God. Let there be an overflow of your spirit, oh God. Let there be an overflow of your anointing, oh God. Let there be an overflow of your power, oh God, and just use us in, in the way that only you can use us as we submit ourselves unto you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that is the word that I have for you today. I just want to encourage you to worship him in spirit and in truth. Continue to seek the Lord your, um, on, you know, what he is calling you to do, how he is calling you to do it. Continue to be sensitive to his voice and to make sure that you're hearkening your ear unto his voice and ask God to remove any barriers off of your ears, any barriers off of your eyes, anything that is keeping your heart, um, um, that is keeping your heart away from him. Ask God to remove it because in this season of our lives, we have to make sure that we are in alignment with the Lord, that we are in alignment with his will and his purpose for our lives. Because his word says that he formed us in his in, the, in our mother's womb and that he had a plan and a purpose for us. So we want to make sure that we're in alignment with his perfect plan for our lives. Because when we're out of alignment, that's when we start to see ourselves getting frustrated. That's when we start to see that anger, that bitterness. But when we're in perfect alignment, we shall indeed experience the fruit of the Holy Spirit. That's when we'll see the peace that surpasses all understanding. We will see the joy of the Lord coming to, you know, coming to pass in our lives, but we have to be in the right alignment. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I will see you all again tomorrow morning by God's grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus name. Amen.